Hey everyone, my name is Redris, and welcome back to the channel. Recently, I've gotten back into Sea of Thieves and realized I am still not a pirate legend. So I searched for a shortcut to get me there, but there really isn't, and most of the information is somewhat outdated because to my surprise, Rare is still updating this game. There's microtransactions now. But to be fair, they're all cosmetic, and nothing was taken out of the game to be resold later. I'm looking at you, Bethesda. Now I've played since the near empty week one of release till Forsaken Shores where they added a few new volcanic themed islands. And since then, I've gotta say, they've added a ton to this game, so I've come up with 10 tips and tricks for new and returning players in 2020. So without further ado, let's dive in. Number one, stock up at spawn. As soon as you spawn in, grab everything you can from your starting island. The game places you a good distance away from other ships that way you have a little bit of breathing room when you spawn in. You can find a wide range of food and cannibal types. With all that loaded, you can easily handle a few hours of play before having to restock unless a galleon sneaks up on you like... Hey, hey, hey. Number two, picking the right quests. Obviously doing quests is important, but picking the right one saves you a ton of time. For gold hoarders and the order of souls, you want to find a voyage with as many rewards on as few islands as possible. And the smaller the islands, the better, so keep that in mind. The merchants are going to be a pain to do no matter what, and are pretty time consuming, so I don't think there's any one best way to tackle that, so I encourage everyone to try their own methods, and let me know what you think the best way is. Once you select your voyage, you'll want to go to your map and plan your route. You're going to have a much easier time playing and save you some time in the long run when you know where you're going before you even raise your anchor. Number 3. Kill the sea monsters. Every now and then, while you're peacefully sailing, you'll be attacked by a sea monster. And it's not just the Kraken anymore. That's right, your mother-in-law was added to the game not too long ago, and you're already tired of her. And just like your mother-in-law, she's hiding treasure from you. And you gotta kill her quick with cannon fire to claim it. Hey, future Reggie here. A uh, quick, quick disclaimer. Don't actually kill your mother-in-law with a cannon or a firing squad just because the funny YouTube man made a made a haha -ha analogy. Uh, it's probably not a good way to claim her inheritance, and you were probably written out of the will the moment she met you. <laughs> Alright, back to the video. Sea monsters are pretty easy to survive and even beat with some practice, so it's always worth the fight because you'll be rewarded at least something for doing so, which is always nice. Number 4. The Harpoon. Easily my favorite new tool since coming back to the Sea of Thieves, the Harpoon lets you cut corners you never thought would have been possible. All too often I found myself parking away from an island so I could use the cans if I had to, so I ended up having to swim loot long distances back to the ship, which felt like it took hours. Instead, just stack up the loot in the island and grab it all using the harpoon. You can harpoon anything. Items, barrels, players, ships, the megalodon, that song you forgot, your lost child, islands, and six more seasons of chowder. He was taken before his time. The harpoon is the best, you have to use it. Number 5. Cooking. After killing an animal that probably had it coming, you'll be rewarded with raw meat that can be cooked up at your ship. I would advise cooking while sailing to save some time and cook two birds with one stove. Then eat those birds because cooked meat fills a meter next to your health bar. This meter will allow you to regenerate health if you're not already topped off. Cooked sea monster meat completely fills your health and half of your regen meter and can be used multiple times which can really turn the tide of a fight. Number six, transporting items. You'll want to keep an eye out for a storage crate and a plain treasure chest. If you ever do need to restock your ship, grab your crate and fill it with everything you can find on an island and bring it back to your ship in one trip. Treasure chests are similar in that you can transport up to three one-handed loot items at the same time, which makes selling loot much, much faster. You can then sell the empty chest to the gold hoarders but I recommend holding on to it till you're done playing. Once you are done playing, and you're a thrill seeker like me, load all your ship's supplies into the crate, and give it to the first ship you find. They'll be pretty thankful, so while they look at the free stuff, whisper a riddle to them, and set fire to the ship before they kill you and you log off. Number 7. Earning Doubloons If your goal is to earn doubloons, and you haven't played since accommodations were added, then I've got good news. Doubloons are fairly easy to acquire now and can be used to buy all sorts of unique stuff from Duke. If you see this light in the sky, that means there's a Reaper's chest there. 
Go grab it and make a beeline to the Reaper's hideout and sell it to the Masked Lady for 30 V-Bucks. Be careful though because Reaper's chests are always going to be visible on the map, including when you're on your ship. Ashen chests are another good way to earn doubloons, so look out for Ashen skeletons and kill every single one you find. They will either drop an Ashen key or the location of an Ashen chest. Use the key on the chest and inside will be random loot or tomes. Sell the loot to their respective people and sell the Harry Potter books and the empty chest to Duke at the tavern for more doubloons. You can hold on to the chest if you don't have an empty one yet. Number 8. Stay Vigilant I know, I know, it's a poor excuse for a tip and or a trick, but I cannot emphasize the importance of being aware of your surroundings. If you get caught off guard, you could find yourself in a fight lasting who knows how long and potentially lose everything. Why? But, then again, you could win, and if you do, you can use all that leftover adrenaline and courage to DM your crush, because nothing short of a restraining order can stop you now. Number 9. Join an Alliance One of the biggest shortcuts the Sea of Thieves presented us with is the ability to form alliances. To start an alliance, go up to the Crow's Nest and raise the ally flag, and when you politely convince a ship to join you, rest assured that you're doing everyone a favor by closing the wage gap, because when anybody in the alliance turns in loot, everyone in that alliance gets credited, and gains reputation too. Be careful though, because all ally ships can see every other ally ship in the alliance on the map. And if they have any ill intent, they can find you no matter where you go. Number 10. Make friends. As with almost all games, it's more fun with friends. It doesn't matter if it's your next door neighbor, your friend from another country, or even your dad. The game is incredibly fun, and every great moment you spend playing the game is made even more special when you get to share it with others. Plus, there are so many more things you can do and adventures you can go on with a full four-man crew. And if you don't have any Hold friends, up. then go out and make one. You're playing the right game for it. Why? I could have killed you all. As I said before, there are so many new updates and more features and things to do are being added every month. So if I missed anything important, let me know in the comments because I'm sure there's still a lot I don't know about. YouTube is still uncharted waters for me. So if you like what I'm doing, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Links in the description for social media and my Twitch channel, where I stream every Friday and Saturday. You can take a guess as to what I'm currently streaming. Thank you everyone for watching, and I hope to see you guys on the seas. Bye guys!